It's your boy, what's good? Um, I'm basically here to do a video for you. Um, <clears throat> what are we talking about? Well, today was a good day. Um, it's not no mail didn't come, none of that bullshit. What did I do? <laughs> Why was it a good day? Well, The starters went to Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. Then I went to a CD warehouse. CD warehouse. Um, now I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like this selection that I got. <coughs> this selection I got from the CD warehouse, and that's okay. Now, we will be going through a few things. I'm just trying to get it arranged here. And the reason be is because I did complete one thing and I'll do a whole nother video for the complete part of that. But the complete thing I did was the Splinter Cell, the book, the series of the books. I got it. It's done. It's over. No more collection needed. Um, I got the last one. Uh, uh. Um, which means Blacklist, The Aftermath. Yes, I have it. Um, I picked it up today. Um, Barnes & Noble, in fact. I picked it up. Um, I'm not even done reading the first book, but I went ahead and picked it up. That way, when I get done reading the first book, I can just dive into the second, dive into the third. You know, when I get done reading each individual, I can just dive into them. Um, so I did, I picked it up, so I have completely got every book, you know, um, for those of y'all who know me, or who've been watching my channel for a while now, you saw the other video where I did the, uh, um, walking through with my books, well, here's the last one, um, that I needed, and for those of y'all who also watched that video, you know that I'm a huge Tom Clancy um, novel book collector. I love Tom Clancy books. It's the only author that I followed when he passed a few years back. I was like, this is kind of sad because I'm not a huge book reader. I was never into books like that. Um, I didn't like the fact they forced you to read books in school. I believe the secret to getting people to read is to invest and find out what they like to read, no matter what it is. And if you want them to read, let them read whatever it is, whether it be comic books, whether it be magazines, whether it be books based off of video games, whether it be that, whether it be um, graphic novels, whether it be pornos, whatever it may be, let them read whatever it is because then you're taking the first step, which is important, and that first step is key in order to getting someone to read. And that is letting them choose the subject matter because that is the gateway. If they can choose the subject matter, then they'll grow from there. Normally, they will grow from there. Um, and that brings me to my next topic because before I started reading Tom Clancy books, I was reading, um, I of course don't have any of his books, but. Let's put it this way. You see, this is Captain, the death of Captain America. I was reading superhero novels. I was reading Batman, Dead White, Batman, Inferno. That's what I was reading. I wasn't reading um, Stephen King or um, even, um, I don't know, who else? S.D. Perry. I wasn't reading anything by any author other <coughs> than anyone who was writing a Batman novel because that's all I wanted to read. I didn't care. As long as it had something to do with Batman in the title, I was reading it. That's the only way. So that's it. Whether it was comic book related or graphic novel or actual novelization. And that's the only way I was going to read. And a lot of people were like, no, we're not going to let you do that. Well, then I stifled it and I shut it down from there on out. And when I got to the age where I could choose what I was going to do, then I started reading again. And that opened me up to where now I'm reading Tom Clancy books. I'm reading my next book. I do have the first one. I lent it to a friend and I'm like super pissed because I've yet to see it back. But we have Resident Evil, um, Caliban Cove. I hope I said that right. It's volume two and I believe there's like 
I think six of these. I believe six. Um, don't quote me on that. But now that I have all the uh, Splinter Cell books, my next collection of books, <clears throat> right here, Resident Evil. I read the first book. Great read. It's like basically you're reading the video game. Cannot wait to read it. I actually cannot wait to read Nemesis. But I'm going in order. <laughs> So when I get to Nemesis, I'll probably break that bitch apart, read it a hundred times, um, because I love Nemesis. That is like my uh, B.O.W. of choice. Um, if you know anything, I, I love I love Resident Evil Nemesis. That is the my favorite game overall. I know I have multiple copies of two, but you gotta understand, I love Nemesis. I played it, beat it on. Uh, I played it, beat it on GameCube, played it, beat it on PlayStation. I never played it on Dreamcast. I want to. I've never seen it on Dreamcast. Um, but if I ever find it, I will buy it on Dreamcast. If I ever get a Dreamcast, I will play it and beat it. Um, if they ever actually do fully remake the uh, third game, like they go through and, you know, touch up everything to today's graphics for the third one, believe me, I will have that no problem. Um... But I did, I bought the second installment for the Resident Evil book series and I am about to go like bombard this person who has my first um, book to this great novelization of a video game. It's, I swear to God, the first book is like you're basically just reading um, the first video game. And that's another pickup that I did while I was at the bookstore. And I mean Barnes & Noble. Now on to the uh, Blu-ray side of things, and yes, I did pick this up. I know a lot of people um, don't necessarily approve of the, and I'm showing this one first because obviously it's got the uh, sleeve here, uh, Transformers movies, like they don't like them. I honestly love Michael Bay movies because they're so over the top, like that's just me though. Alright, here's this side, and then of course on the other side you have Bumblebee. I just love Michael Bay movies. They're so over the top, they're outrageous. Um, and I didn't even see if he gave me both. He gave me both discs, which is impressive. I didn't expect that. Um, and I hate when they don't know how to put these in. These came from a CD Warehouse. A CD Warehouse is a uh, used. Um, CD store, used game store, used movie store. It's kind of like what I hope to one day have. Anyway, I did. I, I bought Transformers 3. I have 1, 2, and 5. I just need one more to have 4. I just need to find 4. And I, for the life of me, cannot remember the name of it. But um, I have, now I have 3. I have 1, 2, 3, and 5. The one with Mark Wahlberg? Yes, I have that. My girlfriend bought it for me for Christmas, so now I have it. I don't keep these. I don't like these. I like this one because it's double sided, but at the same time, I'm not going to keep it. I never keep these. I just don't like the way they look. Like, if you have these and it's just sitting kind of like this, I don't like the way that lines up in the, uh, over there in the movies. Um, the next movie I'm going to show y'all is. I want to say it, it, it's a comic book related movie, but I've never seen the comic. Like, I've never seen the comic at a comic book store. Um, and it was $5. It, it was a $5 movie, $5 purchase. Um, none of these cost that much. CD Warehouse is like bomb for some good pricing. Like, they're really good. It came with an insert, which is just like a thing back in the day blu-ray inserts was a bomb <laughs> um and the movie that i'm talking about of course is 30 days of night the original 30 days of night not the uh second one but um it's got josh harnett he stars in it josh harnett i don't know what happened to you but please start making movies again because everything you were in back in the day was amazing um, this movie is the vampire movie that came out <coughs> during the whole Twilight phase. This made vampires into the uh, scary phase again. 
love this movie. It's one of my favorite vampire movies. It's not the best, but it's one of my favorites. My favorite overall with vampires is still Lost Boys. But that's just because when I first saw Lost Boys, I fell in love with Star. Um, but I was young when I saw that movie. Like That movie, I think I was about six the first time I saw that movie. And it like was the greatest thing of all time. It used to come on TBS every weekend. And I remember just watching it religiously on the weekend. And... Um, I remember I used to have that mem movie memorized, like I'd just sit in front of the TV and like, you know, quote the movie as it was playing, and therefore it's like my favorite vampire movie of all time. Up next, uh, which one do I go with first? You know what, I'm going to go with this one because I do believe this one is a great martial arts movie. Um, I want to say it's a cult classic. It's a cult classic in the martial arts films. Um, Oh man, Tony Ja, man, Tony Ja, you are a hell of a guy. <laughs> Ong Bok, the first one, the fir the first one, not the second, not the third, the first one. When it when it's a good when it's a good movie. Oh my God, dude. Um, Ong Bok, uh, the what is it? The Thai Warrior. This movie right here made me like literally first time I saw it, I was like. It's time to shit a brick. And, I mean, they, in this movie, basically slowed down time, rewound some things, because they were like, did you see that shit? In case you missed it, here it is again. Um, it, it's incredible. It's, it's an incredible movie. Again, $5 movie. Worth every penny. Hell, it's worth every penny if you buy it new. I don't give a damn. I can't find it new, to be honest with you, or I bought it new. Um, every time I find it, it's with two and three. I don't like two, and I don't like three. I think three, they lost their way, and two is just n too much bullshit, not enough action. This right here, love this movie, love, love, love this movie. If you don't like this movie, you're not into martial arts movies. You're not a true martial arts movies fan. This is a great martial arts movie. And then, of course, the last movie I picked up today, um, I'm pretty sure I paid about $5 for it. Five, four, five, <coughs> probably $4. Um, one of the uh, best of all time when it comes to sequels. One of the best. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? What did you get? Terminator. Judgment Day. One of the best sequels of all time. One of the, I'll argue that all day. Judgment Day. It's a sequel movie. <coughs> I love Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Um, Schwarzenegger, back when, like, holy shit was what you said when you saw his movies. Um, and that's it, man. That's all I got for you. I'm going to I'm going to end it here because if I don't I'm going to talk about Terminator 2 for about an hour and a half because there's just so much so much to talk about with this movie. It's honestly one of my favorite favorite movies. Um it's up there. It's up there. Trust me. If it's if I have to make a 100 movie list easily in the top 25 easily. And that list is hard to make. Trust me. It's a hard list to make. I have well over, well over 100 movies over here, and putting those in order of where they fall in order is hard enough. So, um, these are going in the movies in which I'm never ever getting rid of, and every movie over here falls in that category. I don't buy movies that I don't like. So, when I buy movies, whether I buy them new or used, it's the movies that I know I'm never getting rid of. Um, funny thing about these four movies that I bought, I originally went to go buy the original A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and The Empire Strikes Back. That's right. I went to go buy Star Wars. I bought four incredible movies instead because 
no one had Star Wars and I did not want to pay $80 for six movies because that's all they had. Um, not that there's... <coughs> Not that there's anything wrong with the uh, prequel movies. I honestly like the prequels, with Revenge of the Revenge of the Sith, especially. But I just didn't want to spend eighty dollars, and I didn't really have eighty dollars to spend. So I went with twenty dollars for four movies. And honestly, it's been a while since I even seen Thirty Days of Night, and I actually found it, and I'm happy I have it now. So, um. I almost picked up Skyline. I will be honest with you. I almost picked it up. That's a hell of a movie, too. Um, but I didn't. Instead, I picked up Resident Evil to add to my book collection. And I picked up Aftermath to complete my Tom Clancy collection of Splinter Cell. That's what I got instead. Um, if I hadn't, believe me, there'd be about another four or five movies here. Because he had some really good movies there. Because they're about four or five bucks a pop. But I said, I'm not doing that. I probably need to save a couple dollars. Going over here to find out if they had my book. And they had my book. And then they had another couple books in there I wanted. And I was like, I'm glad I didn't spend it. So that's what I did. And that's been what I did today. And I will see you on next video, man. Deuces.